During the 1920s, most people were doing quite well. As Will Rogers said, You can't lick this prosperity thing. Even the fellow that hasn't got any is all excited over the idea. The stock market was reaching new heights. The economy seemed to be booming. When Herbert Hoover became president in 1929, he claimed that we in America are nearer to the final triumph over poverty than ever before in the history of any land. But within months of this optimistic boast, panic hit Wall Street. The American economy sank into the worst depression in modern times. Thousands of businesses failed. Bank failures wiped out the lifetime savings of millions of people. And farm income declined disastrously. Millions lost their jobs. And hundreds of thousands, unable to pay rent or mortgages on homes and land, found themselves on the road searching for something better. Or in shanty towns, derisively called Hoovervilles, waiting for something better. The mood of much of the country deepened into despair. Events moved people to explore new and sometimes radical alternatives to a wisdom that few had ever questioned. 